Smoke in the skies of the capital. Homes, hospitals, and businesses hit with heavy artillery across several districts in Tripoli. Clashes erupted early Saturday between rival armed groups. The fighting occurred in densely populated areas and continued into the night. The clashes have been ongoing since last night. They stopped for a bit and then continued. Many of the victims were ordinary people. Tired, scared, emotionally and physically drained. These people were trapped in their homes for hours before they were pulled out. City officials are calling for an end to the violence. Civil society institutions in Tripoli strongly condemn the armed clashes in the city and hold the participating parties responsible for shedding civilian blood, intimidating security and destroying private and public property. There are two governments who claim to be in charge of the country, one recognized by the international community based in Tripoli, the other drawing its power from the country's east. Hazem El Rais says the only way forward is for elections to be held. It is the residents of Tripoli who are paying the price. They are the victims. The population of Tripoli is nearly three million people and they don't want either government. They want to vote for who they want in power. Elections are the only solution. Things have calmed down since the fighting began, but people here still fear that Libya may be on the verge of a full-scale conflict. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.